Hello, my name is Dustin Deanst. I've been a firefighter for 27 years. I'm currently the chief for the City of Faribault Fire Department. I'm also a Class A licensed master electrician. And I'm here today to talk to you about installing heat tape and maintaining heat tape for your water line of your home. As you can see, we have a, a demonstration model in front of us. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about the system, but first we're gonna lead with reasons to install heat tape. The obvious reason is to keep your pipe from freezing in the winter, and that's the main goal of heat tape. Uh, from a fire department standpoint, there's a, it is very important that the heat tape be installed correctly, not only to keep your water from freezing in the winter, but also to keep the fire department from having to respond because of a fire as you try to thaw your water lines. I can think of at least two off the top of my head in recent years that that has been the case and the home has been destroyed because the heat tape either wasn't working or failed and a fire started as the homeowner tried to get the water flowing. Another maybe not so common reason or known reason to install heat tape is if Mobile home parks are a large consumer of water in the winter because some people will leave their water running to avoid freezing up their pipes. This is very wasteful and expensive and it's not necessary if you just follow a few pointers that we give you and keep your heat tape working throughout the winter. In front of me I have a demonstration and a model of what a common water system looks like. So here we have a PVC sleeve that goes around the actual water pipe that goes down at least six feet into the ground. Now what's missing on here is out of this hole there is a probe that also will be plugged into an outlet. This is what keeps the water from freezing under below the frost line underground. What we're going to talk about today is keeping the water flowing and not freezing above the ground where it's exposed, where it comes out of the ground either underneath your mobile home or on the exterior of your home and goes in through the skirting underneath your home. Water pipe systems typically are galvanized or copper or now they make, make them plastic but what you see in most places is galvanized. So it comes out of the ground, it, 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 a system similar to this, three quarter inch pipe or maybe even half inch pipe. Typically there's a valve, this is the valve that you can shut the water off to the home if you need to make repairs or, or for whatever reason you might want to shut it off. And then the pipe goes through the, the skirting in underneath the home and enters the floor to supply water to your home. So some components of a typical heat tape installation are of course the heat tape itself. Now the heat tape comes in a couple different varieties. So this is one you can buy at a local hardware store. It has the orange cord that will go to an extension cord or if you're lucky enough to have an outlet close enough. Then this little piece that goes from the orange to the black wire is the thermostat. This is a very important part of your installation and we'll cover that in a, a couple different ways when we get to the install part but this is the thermostat that senses the temperature of whether the heat tape should be on or not and then the black part which this is just a three-footer is the actual heat tape itself and this is what provides warmth to the pipe. Now the other common type of heat tape has a metal jacket and uh, Typically, you'll see those on a longer run. They buy that stuff in bulk and you can cut it to the length you want. These types are, are already cut to length with the end on there, which is very important. It has to has, have that end on there uh, to keep it from shorting out. But you can, this is the smallest run you can get, three foot, but they, they go up to 20, 30, 40, 50 feet, depending on the length of your water pipe that you need to cover. Another very important part of the system is the insulation. This is a piece of insulation uh, that you can buy at a local hardware store. Now, this is not a noodle. It looks like a swimming noodle. It's not as buoyant. It probably wouldn't hold 
too many of us up, but do not use a noodle to insulate your pipe. Buy, purchase what is meant to do the job. This is a oversized to this pipe, so I might point this out a couple times, but it very, is very important. This is a three quarter inch water pipe this insulation is for inch and a quarter pipe and the reason for that is as you put this heat tape on especially if you have the type that wraps this gets a little bit wider this pipe ends up having a bigger diameter and when it comes to insulating anything you don't want to crush or squeeze anything in the insulation you want to have a little air so this is actually big enough for an inch and a quarter pipe this is a three quarter inch pipe that's very important and we'll talk about that again later but equally as important is don't use a noodle that your kids use for swimming and the other component that you'll have is of course good old-fashioned electrical tape uh, as you can see on the demo model that's what you're going to use to put the heat tape onto the pipe and it also is what you're going to use to keep the insulation wrapped on to the pipe after you install it. Okay, now we're going to talk specifically about the installation of the heat tape that you can purchase at your local hardware store. So as you can see, uh, as talked about earlier, is this, inst this thermostat portion has to be in contact with the pipe. So the little black disc has to be in contact with the pipe. That is what senses whether this needs to turn on and send electricity to warm this pipe or not. And that points out a very good uh, issue is that you would not have to unplug this in the summer if you did not want to. Uh, you're not losing money or using energy because when this pipe is above 40 or 50 degrees, there's no electrical draw. There's no reason for this to, to stay warm and to heat itself. So you can leave it plugged in year round. That way you may not forget to plug it back in and learn the hard way because the water froze. So it's very important that we have that in contact. So we have this pretty close to uh, where this comes out of the ground. We put tape on both sides to maintain contact of the thermostat. And then we started running a little trick of the trade because heat rises to run the heat tape along the bottom of your pipe. And as the heat rises and the insulation forms around it, it holds that heat in there and you'll get full value from your electricity and your heat that you're producing. And you're gonna to wanna to tape your heat tape approximately every, every six inches. Really what you wanna do is not allow the heat tape to get away too far from the pipe. You'll still get some benefit of the heat, but having it in contact gets you the most benefit that you can. And you're gonna do this type of installation from where the pipe comes out of the ground all the way to where it goes into your home. So we just showed in the demonstration before we had the the thermostat positioned in this this vertical position with the heat tape coming up and and going down the pipe if you happen to be on the north side of your home or the wind hits this water service hard or you're still having problems an alternative would be to turn this thermostat up upside down you still need to stay in, con in positive contact with the pipe. And we'll put a little tape on here to hold this. But in this case, what we're going to do then is loop the heat tape down underneath and come up. And this way we are covering every square inch of this pipe, even where the thermostat is, in order to cover this area in the prior installation we did not have that covered so I'm going to put another tape around piece of tape around here to get a positive contact put another piece up here to have a positive contact of the thermostat disc so this would then go to your outlet and then again we would run this about every six inches we would tape until this goes into your home.
Next is a very important piece of this whole puzzle on having effective insulation and heat tape of your water piping system. So again, don't use a pool noodle. Use a piece of foam that is made for insulating pipes and get it a size bigger than the pipe that you have. And what we're going to do is we are going to just simply wrap this over the pipe. And another trick of the trade was because these pipes a lot of times have a slit in them and heat rises, we want to keep that slit down below so no heat can just sneak out of that slit. We are then going to take your electrical tape, or you can use zip ties too, but electrical tape is commonly used. And this is very important, as I stated before, if you squeeze any insulation, it loses its R value or its insulation value. So I recommend taping similar to what I'm doing here. And you only have to tape enough to keep your, the, the opening from being open and letting your heat out. But if you pull your, your roll of tape all the way around, you are going to crush this insulation in. So by doing it this way, you can a little more gently just wrap this around. And that's really, that's all you have to do to insulate it. I'll roll this over. You can see that I don't have an opening. If I had an opening in there, I would put another piece of tape or zip tie on there. And we do this all the way to where it goes into our home. Most water systems are not gonna be a straight run of pipe like we just insulated. They're almost all are going to have some kind of a, a valve or a bend or multiple bends in that. It can be done, it can be insulated with this type of pipe, but I would recommend getting, your piece, getting yourself a piece of fiberglass insulation. And you can probably see already that this is gonna be a little bit easier to cover uh, these valves, which it's very important to cover this valve because uh, that can allow some coldness to radiate down that pipe. So there's no, uh, no science here. You're just going to use this fiberglass insulation to wrap all portions of the pipe. And then along with that, we would take tape and secure that. And again, you're not going to want to use the tape and roll around it. You're gonna wanna pull off a big piece and then lightly tape around ensuring that you do not pinch down the insulation. You want it to be fluffed up. And that is a very well insulated water pipe. We recommend that you check your heat tape every single year and typically uh, October would be a great month to do it in. You need a little bit of cool weather because the only way to check this is to actually expose the heat tape and feel it with your hand. So I'm gonna expose it here underneath all of this goings on and I'm gonna feel it. And if it's too warm, you're not gonna feel that it's, it's working, but there's a little coolness in the air and you should feel some warmth. If you don't feel any warmth, it may not be working. There's no other way to test it. We do recommend that you replace your heat tape every five years, or of course, if it's not working, replace it at that point. Okay, now that we've seen heat tape done on a demonstration model, let's go look at some real world heat tape installations at a couple mobile homes. So now that we've seen how heat tape should be installed as we looked at it on our demonstration model, we're gonna look at a real world situation, all the water services in this mobile home park are not underneath the mobile home. So in other mobile home parks, the water service actually comes up underneath the trailer and that has a little bit different, some different situations when it comes to heat tape. But here at most of these mobile homes in this park, the water service comes out exterior of the home and their recommendation is that you protect it with the, a box as such. So this box, this very nice big box allows for a lot of room for insulation. They actually have an access panel here so you don't have to remove the entire box uh, to get to the heat tape. But as you can see as we open up the access panel is that we have 
both foam insulation and fiberglass insulation. This, uh, this would allow you to get down to it to do your test before winter to feel it to see if it's actually working. But we're gonna remove, we're gonna lift up this box and we're gonna look at the heat tape itself. So underneath here, we have lots of fiberglass insulation, which is good. And it looks like it's in tough shape, but it still, still has its insulation uh, qualities. So it's doing its job. As we remove this, we get down to the water service itself. And here, here's the water service. Uh, so we have the shutoff valve, we have the probe that goes down underground to keep the water flowing, and we have our heat tape, which is right here. Now I can tell you right now that we have a problem with this, is that we don't have our thermostat up against our pipe like we talked about on our model. So that is something that will have to be taken care of this year. This thermostat, this little black disc, needs to be up against the pipe in order to sense the temperature. The taping or the insulating of this pipe looks to be very well done. It's, it's, it maybe has a little more tape on it than we'd like to see because we know as we squeeze this insulation that we're going to take away the insulation value of the foam, uh, but it's very well covered right up to the edge. Uh, and of course it can't go over the valve, but that's what the fiberglass insulation is for. So this will have to be redone before winter and get that thermostat up against that pipe. But this is very well wrapped and you can see where it goes into the home. There's insulation all the way and, and probably um, more than likely all the way to where it enters the bottom side of the mobile home. And this is, this is very well done other than the thermostat not being up against it. It's very well insulated. Okay, so we're gonna remedy the uh, issue that we found where the, the little thermostat was not up against the pipe and we're just going to tape this up against it. And of course, when we did this on the prop, it was all nice and clean and everything was really good. That's not real. This is, this is the real situation. So again, we'll get that thermostat right up against so it can sense the temperature of that pipe. And then you can see we're gonna have a little bit of a loop. Now it's very important that this loop doesn't cross over itself. This right here would be a burnout spot. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have a, a loop here that does not touch uh, and it will not be in contact with the pipe, but because we have a little extra here, we're, it's just going to we're going to have contact with the pipe here and then on the other side so there will not be a cold spot and I'll make sure to be careful not to tape this onto itself so this right here is not a problem it's a little bit of a, a waste of this heat that comes out of here but it will be in the insulation and it will do some good now, as stated when we went through the demo model, the piece of foam that was on there was the exact, was made just for this pipe. But because we have heat tape in there, we want to upsize. So I have a piece of foam here that is upsized from that pipe. Uh, it's brand new, so we're gonna, there's a little bit of a pre-cut slit. It's not all the way, but we're gonna open this up. And then we're gonna cover up. And as you can see, we have lots of room here and when we get in here where it gets a little crazy with heat tape and a little bit of extra, we're going to leave it just like that. And we are going to loosely tape. And this is important because if you just use the tape to wrap around there, you're going to squeeze it. And we don't want to squeeze it. We just want to loosely. There's not going to be any pressure on this insulation. It's not going anywhere. This is just to help it keep, keep it closed up. And as we mentioned before, if you can, put the seam down, it, but because we're, our seam is allowing for that, we don't have the seam on the bottom. Uh, but when we're done here, we're not gonna see any of that blue, blue water pipe. That means that we have it covered well. And that is our installation of our new foam. We'll put a little insulation around this just to help keep it from touching 
So right here is there's a chance it could touch itself and we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to put some insulation in there, keep that loop out, keep it from touching itself, otherwise it, that could burn out the entire run of your heat tape. As we start to put this back together, and we almost for, or I almost forgot it, uh, make sure you plug it back in. Uh, so we got it plugged in, we have a little indicator light on this cord so we know power is there. And as stated before, this is not drawing electricity and costing money because that thermostat is not sensing cold, so there's no electricity flowing through there. We get our box back in place, we have our foam insulation, and we're going to carefully replace the fiberglass insulation over the top of everything that is showing, and we're not going to pack it in there. We're going to loosely apply it in there because, again, if you pack it down, it loses its insulation value. And this box has this nice, I like this little hole here for maintenance and for seeing that you, you did a good job on loosely packing the insulation. Slide it up against the house so it's all the way tight. We'll put our cover back on and we should be ready for winter. So this is an example of a water service that is underneath the mobile home. Where the light is, you can see where the, the white pipe is, that's the, the water casing coming up out of the ground. The black cable is the probe that goes down into the ground that keeps the water line underground from freezing. And you can see in this case, the homeowner's done a very good job of using pipe insulation. Also, when you take the time to check your heat tape, it's a good time to look at your water system and see if you have any leaks. As you can see in one of the real world water line we had a, a leak and I believe was from that valve and this is a good time to take care of that before that all starts to freeze and makes the repair even more difficult. You can see down where it comes up and turns makes a 90 that he utilizes fiberglass insulation to wrap around the 90 to have a good insulation value around the 90. As we come up the pipe, we see a shutoff here. He's got it nice and tight to the shutoff. So insulated very nicely. And in this case, he used saran wrap type material to wrap over the top of that. It doesn't do anything for insulation value, but it does keep it cleaner and maybe helps preserve it. When we get up here a little closer, we can see that he's used black tape. And I'll even scan back down with the light. You can see where the black tape, about every six or eight inches, he did not tape it really tight, so it's not squeezed. You shouldn't be able to see an indent where the tape is. So the insulation value exists where the tape is. And not sure if you'll be able to see as we get up here further, but right here is another 90, or it goes up into the home, and he used utilized fiberglass insulation to get around that 90. This, this heat tape is the metal wrapped heat tape. And of course, we're not gonna undo what he's done here. I'm not sure if he's wrapped this around or if it's just run straight on the water line. But regardless, this is a very well insulated water line and it's only about 10 feet, uh, but 10 feet's enough to freeze so even in this condition of 10 feet we need to insulate it all the way from the home to where it goes into the ground. Now that we've checked out our heat tape and our insulation where it's very important that the skirting go back onto the home because even though this is not insulated this can work wonders for keeping the cold air and the wind from blowing on or on your water line. Even if you have it insulated, a really cold winter day with a 20 to 30 mile, mile an hour wind, 40 below wind chill, the heat tape will not be able to keep up. So having your skirting in place from one end to the other to avoid any wind from hitting your water line is very important. So now that we've seen some real world 
in heat tape installations, we're going to talk about the cost of those installations. For this heat tape at a local hardware store is about three dollars a foot. You know, when we talk about the footage, it's this part right here, the black part. Uh, so they come in pre-cut lengths, so you'd have to measure your pipe and figure out how long of a run that you would need, but it's about three dollars a foot for this piece right here. The insulation that you'll need for your pipe is six feet long and it's about just under four dollars for this piece. And then the last part, or the last component, is good quality electrical tape. I don't recommend using duct tape, it doesn't last as long, especially when it's exposed to hot and cold. So get some good electrical tape, eight to ten dollars a roll. I want to thank you guys for watching our video. Hopefully you learned something and can have a, a better installation of your heat tape, I recommend you go out and check that so that this winter you do not have any problems with freezing pipes.